business has already had to close because of construction and more could follow. We have a follow-up story for you tonight on a road work project happening on North 48th Street. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson spoke with business owners in the area and has the details in our top story tonight. Mackenzie? The businesses in University Place near 48th and Layton Avenue have had limited traffic for the past few months, and now they'll have none as construction shuts down the road in both directions. Some business owners are worried. We all have bills to pay. If people aren't here, then they're not shopping. And, you know, we have our whole life savings into these businesses. 48th Street has been under construction between Layton and Adams since April. Right now, there's limited driving open in the area and no through traffic allowed. It's been dead. There's nobody in the streets, really. Um, some of the bit of business that we do get is all of us collabing together and promoting each other. In the beginning next Tuesday, August 8th, the road will be fully closed between Layton and Madison Avenues until December, cutting most of the businesses off to any traffic. If they see a sign that's going to deter them, and it might add five, ten minutes to their trip, or maybe they don't know how long it will add, they're going to just go somewhere that they know is easily accessible. The business owners say already Sabre Latino had to close its doors because it lost too much money during the construction. Now they're having to band together to stay afloat. When in doubt, lean on one another. And so collaboration in a situation like this is a first and foremost must. I reached out to Lincoln Transportation and Utilities and they sent us a statement saying in part, our team understands construction and street closures through the project impacts businesses, residents, and drivers in Lincoln. We continue to balance the community's desire to improve Lincoln streets and infrastructure with the day-to-day -day inconveniences these improvement projects sometimes bring. The business owners agree that this construction project will be good for the area once it's done, and the road did need to be repaired. For now, they've been selling each other's products in their stores to promote customers to check out the other businesses in the area and they've come up with another plan. I said, there's got to be something we can do, and I sent it to all the other business owners, and I said, you know, who wants to get on board and help me figure out a way to get people to the neighborhood? The business owners decided to create a Sunday market where the public can come and buy from them all in one place. I think it's kind of forgotten about in Lincoln, and we're trying to reawaken it somehow. And so I think with us doing this, it's very unfortunate, but we're trying to turn it into something positive, starting the university market. The first market they're planning to host will be on Sunday, August 27th, and after that, they'll host one on the last Sunday of every month. Mackenzie Johnson, thank you very much for our top story tonight. What